Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I would love to be your demonstrator if you do not already have one. So I'm here again with another live class. This one's going to feature the awesome Sand and Sea Suite. And this is really, really, really pretty. If you love the beach, if you love the ocean, you're gonna love these cards today. And I kind of, wanted to do it around this time because a lot of people are just coming back from spring break and have beach on the mind. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to be featuring this collection. So before we get started today with the class, I have several things that I wanted to um, just chat with you about, some reminders of what's going on. We haven't talked for a couple of weeks. So um, just a reminder that today is, what is it, the, uh, April 16th of 2021. We are still in the middle of the last chance retiring list. So if you have anything from the current annual catalog that might be on that list that will be retiring soon, you'll want to get that before it's gone for good on May 3rd. So check that out. Um, the stamps are guaranteed, stamp sets are guaranteed available through April 23rd. And after that, they will be while supplies last. I've had several people that have told me that they have already received their brand new catalog. So that is very exciting to know that they are hitting the mailboxes out there. If you uh, have placed an order with me in the past six months or a little bit longer than that, then you will be automatically, you should be automatically getting a catalog from me. If you are not sure and you would like to receive one, or maybe if you've never ordered from me but you'd like to receive a catalog, just let me know. Send me a message. I'll be happy to send a catalog out to you as soon as possible. Um, let's see. We also have, oh, um, what was the other thing? There's two more things. I had a couple of questions uh, about some things that I do annually every time we have a new catalog come out. One is the paper share. I actually do that with every catalog, uh, the minis and the annual catalog. So um, you, yes, you can expect a paper share again this year with all the beautiful papers. And I'm telling you, I really love, sometimes I don't love every paper, but this year, mm, I'm loving just about every paper that is in the new catalog. And there's nothing like getting a little six by six sample of all the different papers so that you can get your, uh, you know, get a feel for what they actually look like in person and know which ones you actually want to purchase larger packages of. So I will be doing that again. I'll have some information on that in about a week and a half as we get closer to the end of the month. Also, I've had people ask, will I be doing my In Color Club again? And yes, of course, we'll be doing that every year with the new catalog. We have five brand new In Colors and those will be, uh, we'll be featuring those a lot right at the beginning of the catalog, but I'll be doing a special In Color Club and that essentially is um, you participate in kind of a five month series of a club and each month you get a different color collection of all of the stamp or the, the ink pads, the cardstock, the markers, um, the blends, all the stuff that's in that color you're going to get in, uh, in a pack for each month. So I'll have more information again about that. Um, you can always, if you just Google Too Cool Stamping In Color Club, you'll see what I've done in the past. So check that out and I will have that in the next like week and a half right at the tail end of April. Okay, let's get started with this awesome collection of products. And I know you're gonna love it. And if you love it and you want to make the cards, I will have a class kit available, a five card class kit. And all you need to do is place a minimum order with me at twocoolstamping.com by clicking on the shop now link at my website. And if you place that $35 or more order using the host code that I'll show you in a little bit, then you will receive a five card kit that will have all of the pre-cut card supplies that you need to create the same cards that I'm uh, sharing with you today that I'm demonstrating. So if you want to do that, that will be available. Uh, that offer will be available until April 21st. Yes, April 21st, that's next Wednesday. And then we'll mail out those kits on April 26th, the following Monday. So, okay, let's flip the camera around. Thank you so much for being here with me today, whether you're joining live or whether you're doing our replay. I appreciate you spending some time with me.
All right, let's get this nice and tight there so we don't move around. All right, let's start by showing you some of the products in the Sand and Sea collection. It all is going to start with this fabulous bundle called Friends Are Like Seashells. And you guys, this is a fantastic stamp set. It's very large. There's 23 different images in here. Lots of different seashells, obviously. Some two-step stamping and lots of different sentiments. So, so much versatility just in the stamp set. One of the highlights of this collection is the dies. These dies, the seashells dies, it ha ha starts with this great big die, which cuts out a fabulous background. It also cuts out a lot of the different shapes, so that makes it a lot easier. And then some uh, other outline dies as well to cut out the images from the stamp set. And then the other awesome featured product that I think people like the most is the seashells embossing folder. And you can't see it very well here, but we'll be doing several projects with this awesome texture. Now, I wanted to let you know that right now, this seashells folder is on back order. You can still add it to your order, but it will take a little while to get to you. It's expected to arrive back in stock around May 24th. So a little bit of time that you'll have to wait for that, but you won't need it to create any of the cards that we're doing if you get the kit, because I'll have all of that embossed uh, for you, so you don't need that to make the cards, but you'll definitely want the folder for your own use later on. Um, also, just a note, the dies are currently available, but they are uh, noted to be in low in inventory. So if you're interested in purchasing either the dies or the bundle that includes the dies, which I highly recommend because you're going to save 10% when you purchase them together as a bundle, you'll want to get that as soon as possible so that you can avoid back orders on that. This is just a really, really, really popular collection. All right, another fantastic part of this collection is the Sand and Sea Designer Series papers. And these are so pretty. They have a beautiful watercolored look to them. Lots of pretty subtle colors between So Saffron, Blushing Bride, Seaside Spray, which is one of our retiring colors, and Sahara Sand. So there's a lot of different textures that are very ocean-like and beach-like. And so I'm loving all of those. And then on the backs of each of these are more of a pattern or have more imagery. So we have the this Blushing Bride with a lot of different shells. I love this multicolored shell paper. Another little dotted pack background that goes with it. Some starfish, some jellyfish, and some sand dollars. So lots of pretty imagery and pretty patterns and textures to be working with. And then also with the collection, I am loving the opal rounds. I've already used these on many projects, but these are these are so pretty. They're just uh, a little round embellishment that has some flecks of iridescent glitter inside each of them. And they kind of, on these projects, they kind of remind me of sea glass. And I think that was kind of the point to adding them to this collection. So I love those, we'll be using those. And then also the pearlescent paper. This is kind of a creamy vanilla shade and a beautiful pearlescent sheen, and you get two sheets per pack, and we'll be using that on one of our cards as well, so you can get a feel for how beautiful this paper is in person. I was so glad to see that this paper is actually carrying over into the new catalog. We don't always have the specialty papers and designer series papers carrying over, but this is such a classic and beautiful finish that they decided to carry it over. So I'm excited about that. All right, we're gonna get started with our first card. And this one's gonna use quite a bit of stamping. We're gonna to want to use our paper piercing mat because it is a photopolymer stamp set. And when we stamp with photopolymer, we like to have a piercing mat because it is going to allow us to stamp the images really nice and clearly. It gives us just a little bit of cushion so we have a good transfer of ink. Uh, before I get started, let me, before I forget, 
um, remind you to write down the host code here. This is for that free five card kit that you can receive with just a $35 order at twocoolstamping.com. It's F-J-K-C-Q-A-C. All right. So our first card, we're gonna start out with gray granite as our card base. This is just a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock, the traditional card base. And we have a little strip here of the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. This is five and a half by one and a half. I'm gonna adhere that. I got a brand new seal here, so I'm excited about a brand new one. All right, we're gonna layer that onto a piece of soft suede. This is five and a half by, let's see, one and five eighths. Just a little bit bigger than this other strip of designer series paper. So this is gonna go across this piece right here, but we're gonna do some stamping before we add that. So we're gonna have some stamps, some imagery coming out of each side here. So let's get, I'm gonna burnish this just a tiny bit more so it lays flat. Okay, we're gonna start with gray granite as our ink. And let's see, we're gonna start with a couple of these little plants that you would see in the ocean. So I'm gonna have one there, maybe one coming up here. I'm gonna flip it around and do one on this side. So you see, I'm just having it kind of come out from the strip. And then I have another one on this side. You can see there's so many stamps in here and one of my little tips that I will give you is to get a larger block and put one on one side and one on the other of similar images or maybe two step stamps that kind of go together. That way you can find them easier and you don't have quite as many blocks all over your work surface. Whoops, see if I can add a few. There we go. And maybe one more here. So just a little bit peeking out there. And then also, I love these little dotted. They're, they either can be bubbles or if you have them on a beach, they can kind of be a, a pebble look. So here I'm kind of, they kind of look like bubbles to me. It kind of looks like the bottom of a sea, bottom of the ocean. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna add this. And there we go. All right, next let's decorate that with some different seashells. So one thing I forgot was, <laughs> let me get a piece of white cardstock. I forgot a scrap of white cardstock. We'll be right back. It's always great to forget things right off the bat. It paves the way for a much better video later on. So I'm gonna start out with crumb cake as my ink and this really large seashell. And I'll stamp that on some scrap basic white. Also, I have my Misty Moonlight. Now, you can use Seaside Spray, but because that's one of our retiring in colors, and it is currently sold out as far as a stamp pad, uh, I wanted to give you an option. So if you don't have, sea, you can use Seaside Spray, which would totally match perfectly, or you can use Misty Moonlight and just stamp off and then stamp. And that is really close to Seaside Spray. So that's just a little tip. So if you still like Seaside Spray and I know it's gonna be gone, you can still take advantage of that 
and play with it if you just stamp off the misty moonlight. All right, the next one is gray granite and one more little seashell here. Okay, so I wanna cut all of these out and if you look at the dies, there is a special die for our little uh, starfish there, but the other two actually are a part of this larger die. So I wanted to show you what you would want to do to, if you wanted to die cut those, is actually cut this out and then you would line that up in that die and then put it in your stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now the thing that you need to be aware of because this is one whole die and this is intended to be kind of a, a pretty background layer, it doesn't cut the seashell out the entire way. So it's gonna give you this kind of a, a look and then you can just go in with your paper snips and just trim out all the parts that are still attached. So it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to cut the whole thing out. Or if you wanted to just cut the whole thing out, uh, just do some fuss fussy cutting if that's something that you would rather do, you could do that as well. But you can do the same thing with this larger seashell and just run that through. It's gonna have some connections and you'll just need to trim those away. All right, so we have this one cut out. We have this one that runs through on its own die and then this one that we just trimmed out. And we're gonna add that. But first let's figure out what we're doing with the sentiment. I love how all that goes together. This set is so fabulous for collage and just picking different seashells and different colors and layering them. Just really, really pretty options. So I've already die cut this piece of basic white and I used the Hippo and Friends dies, which is a really awesome die set as far as lots of different label shapes. So we're gonna go with this crumb cake ink pad and this big blotchy stamp. This kind of, this is actually intended to go behind one of the seashells. So you could do kind of a two step, a two tone look there, but I'm gonna use it as a background for, whoops, I didn't get a good connection there, as a background for one of my sentiments. I'm gonna go up here. So I have an extra a little scrap paper and also it works better on that piercing mat. So I'm gonna stamp off once and then stamp onto my scent or onto my label. So just a soft crumb cake shadow behind the sentiment. Then we're gonna add, where did it go? Right here. We're gonna add a sentiment, and this one is going to be in misty moonlight. Or you could use this seaside spray if you wanted to. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. Whoops, oh, I hate that. We're gonna see if we can help it. Well, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. All right, I missed it. I didn't push down all the way. So we kind of have a little blurry, that's kind of a neat effect. I'll have to try that for on purpose. So <laughs> we're gonna pretend that that is all looking beautiful. And we're gonna add that with some seal. I'm just gonna put a teeny bit of seal behind it because I'm gonna have to replace that. You know I can't continue with that. And then we're gonna add these shells and we're gonna put those with on with some dimensionals. So let's Pop those up. And we'll just add that right here. We'll add a little starfish. And 
this cute little shell on the side. All right, we're gonna finish up with some embellishments that I do not use very often, but I should. So I kind of made this a, a fun neutral card with a little pop of blue. I'm gonna use some gold metallic pearls to kind of offset that crumb cake. Let's put that right here. And there we go. You know what? I'm gonna show you the better version. The one that isn't messed up. <laughs> so this is the one that I created and hopefully you love that one as much as I do. I love all those neutral tones. And then of course I did a two cool version. I like to do two cool versions of each card that I do. And this one I did in a different uh, orientation with So Saffron as the card base. I stamped some of the starfish in the background and um, used that same label but I added the love you to the beach and back sentiment in Blushing Bride. And um, I stamped the starfish in So Saffron and also added some little, some linen thread that I just frayed a little bit on the edges. This time I used the champagne rhinestones. I thought those look really pretty with that project. So there is our first card. All right, so our next card is going to focus a lot on the dyes and how beautiful that background is. And also our beautiful designer series paper. So we'll start out with Seaside Spray for our card base. And then we're gonna add in at the top, this is a five and a quarter by three inch piece of the Sand and Sea designer series paper. And we'll add that along the top, leaving just a tiny border around it. And then at the bottom, we're gonna add some sand with some other Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. And we'll just butt that right up to that. So it kind of looks like a little bit of ocean, a little bit of beach, and then this time I used, I cut a four by four piece of basic white and used this large die from the seaside, uh, seaside seashells dies. It's like that tongue twister. And this is what I came up with. So you can see, um, this is the die, but then you can also see this beautiful texture. Let me show you how I did that. So first you would die cut the four by four piece and you're gonna get a piece like this. So it's just plain paper. Then you can take your seashells embossing folder and you're just gonna line that die up right over the embossed section. So line it up and then close that so that it's all lined up. Run that through the stamp and cut and emboss machine and that is how you get that gorgeous texture on those seashells. That is one of the most exciting parts of this whole collection. It's so unique and so beautiful and it just completely makes the card just with one you know, one little piece of paper. So I love, love, love that. So we're gonna add that with a little bit of Tombow. So I'm just adding just little dabs here and there. If you wanted to, you could use a sponge and sponge on the adhesive. Just little tiny dabs. And then we'll add that to our card front. And just hold that down for a couple of seconds and that should all adhere nicely. Next, we're gonna add a piece of the Retiring Seaside Spray Scalloped Linen Ribbon. I haven't used this much actually, but I had some and I thought this would look perfect with this because it's exactly the right colors. And I'm just adding one strip of 
seal right down that seam between the two designer series papers. We'll add that right over the top there. You could use Tombow if you wanted to, but I found that the seal actually works really well. And then I'll just trim that off right at the end. There we go. We're gonna finish up with a little label here that I've made with the Tasteful Labels dyes and Seaside Spray ink. I mean, Seaside Spray cardstock. We're gonna get some Misty Moonlight ink and also, there we go. The friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. So pretty. We'll pop that up with some dimensionals. And I like to make sure that I'm not putting dimensionals over the ribbon. So I'm gonna leave some room for that ribbon. We don't want it to get too bulky. And we'll just add that right over here. We're gonna finish up with just a few pearls. So let's do, let's do a large pearl right here and a couple of smaller pearls right there. Kind of looks like bubbles. And there is our second card. Really pretty. I love that seaside spray. I'm going to miss that so very much. All right, for my too cool version of that one, I used the pearl paper, the pearlescent specialty paper, and I put that whole background this time over one of the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper patterns, Blushing Bride for the card base, So Saffron for my label, and then a different sentiment that is stamped on the uh, Very Vanilla, a little bit of the Snail Mail Blushing Bride twine, as a little bow and that one looks so cute too. So I wanted to show you what that looked like. Can you see all that beautiful shine in that pearlescent paper? Gorgeous. So those are my two cool versions of our second card. All right, this next card, if you've been watching my blog, you have seen a sneak peek of this card done by, uh, I, I featured a swap card by Michelle Suit, and I am casing her project because I loved it so much. We're starting out with a quarter sheet of Sahara sand, so it's five and, a, five and a half by four and a quarter. We have two little strips of the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper in the jellyfish pattern, and these are four by one. And we're gonna add one of those to each side. So this will create our card base. And then we have a piece of Seaside Spray. This is eight and a half by three and a quarter and it's scored at the four inch, four and a quarter inch mark. So here's just a little, a little card front. We're gonna use some seal to adhere that to the middle of our card base. I love this fun fold. I do this quite a lot nowadays because I just think it's so much fun. So it goes flush to the top and there is our little card. So we'll decorate that I have a piece here of three by four uh, basic white that I have embossed with the seashells folder. So we'll, before we add that, let's do some coloring. So I loved Michelle Suit's card because she used some sponge daubers to add color to this beautiful textured paper. So for this one, I'm gonna add some Blushing Bride with a little sponge dauber. 
And you notice how I, I stamped in the ink, or I got a bunch of ink, and then I stamped off just so I didn't have a big blob. And then just do little circular motion. You don't have to press very hard. The harder you press, obviously, the more ink you're going to have transferred. So it depends on what kind of a look you want. I just want a little subtle ink on mine. So a little subtle on that one and a little bit of Blushing Bride on the other. Now let's try a different color. Let's do the Misty Moonlight. Or again, you can use Seaside Spray. I'm just not using it because it's retired already. And I'm just gonna add that. See how that's bringing out that beautiful texture? And you really need to go light with the Misty Moonlight but it still looks so beautiful and gets that same kind of seaside spray look. And then the last one is in Sahara Sand. We're gonna add just a little bit to the greenery that's going on here. Just a hint. It's a very light color. It's not coming out very much or not doesn't get too dark, which is just what we want. All right. Perfect. Now we can add that to the front of our card. And I, the thing that really made Michelle's card so awesome, I thought, was a little bit of Wink of Stella. So get some of that clear glimmer shimmer out and just add that to your shells. It really makes that pop. And shells are kind of, they kind of have an iridescence to them anyway, so I think that really adds to it. Can you see that? I don't know if the camera is gonna pick that up, but hopefully you can see that really pretty shimmer. We're going to finish up with a little sentiment. So I have a three by three quarter piece of basic white and I need to clean my stamp because I've already used it. So a little smush on my Simply Chamois and then we're going to stamp a happy birthday to my beautiful friend in Flirty Flamingo. We're gonna layer that on another piece of Sahara sand. This is three by seven eighths. There we go. Sometimes you have to start that seal up with your finger. It doesn't take much, just. So this just has a hint of Sahara sand poking out, peeking out. I'm going to cut this off to make it nice and flush. And then we'll add that across our card front. And then we'll finish up with a couple of pastel pearls. And these are staying too. A lot of times, um, this has seaside spray in it, which is what we're using here. A lot of times those types of embellishments will retire, but I think they assumed that this, the bluish color would go with a lot of other things, not just seaside spray. So that is sticking around in the new catalog. I was excited to see that. So that is our card. Let me show you the one I did earlier. It has the inside done. Don't forget to do your inside of all your cards. I love the shells, they make it so easy to decorate on the inside. And again, I'm gonna show you Michelle's card. So this is the one that inspired me. Michelle Suit created this card and gave it to me as a swap card with a crumb cake uh, card base, blushing bride, and some really pretty sponging in so saffron, blushing bride, and soft sea foam. She used those pastel pearls as well. I love that. All right, next up, 
This is one of my favorites simply because we're going to be featuring that beautiful pearlescent specialty paper. So we're starting out with a thick, very vanilla card base. And that matches the beautiful pearlescent paper, which I've already embossed with that seashells embossing folder. This is a four by five and a quarter inch piece. We'll add that to the card front. Just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you could just add a sentiment to that and be done, and that would be so elegant and beautiful. It would be beautiful for a wedding card in any kind of embossing. I just love that so much. All right, next up, we have a piece of designer series paper, the Sand and Sea paper. This is a two and a half by three and a half. And this time, we are going to stamp with some Melon Mambo and we'll use a different sentiment. You are unique and completely amazing. All right, that's gonna be layered onto a two and five eighths inch by three and five eighths inch piece of Melon Mambo. There we go. I love that this paper is so soft that you can stamp right on it. And it doesn't, the pattern doesn't compete with the sentiment. All right, before we put that down, we're gonna add some linen thread to it. I have a long piece here. We're gonna wrap it around twice and tie that in a little double knot. I love the natural look of this linen with the beach theme, really goes well, I think. And then like I did on that other card, I'm just gonna twist so I can fray it just a little bit. And I'm also gonna add this, I'm gonna scooch this over to the other side, there we go. All right, that looks good. Then we're gonna add this to the card front. And I'm gonna put it right here, a little bit off to the side so we can really see that beautiful pearlescent background. All right, let's dress it up with a few more of our seashells. The first one's gonna be in Melon Mambo. And like I did before, I'm gonna stamp off once and then stamp on some scrap paper for a little bit lighter look. We're gonna do our, sea, our sand dollar in Sahara Sand. And last but not least, we will do a little seashell in Sahara, or in uh, So Saffron. So again, just to remind you, you're gonna need to, if you want to die cut those, you can die cut those with the big die here. So these two will be able to be die cut with those and then just snip out uh, whatever the connector points are. And then the other sand dollar will have its own die to go with it. So you'll cut all of those out. And then we're just gonna pop those up onto our card front. So we'll start out with this one. He's gonna go about right there. And then let's see, this guy's gonna go about right there. So I need half of it to have a dimensional and half of it to just have a little bit of adhesive since it's gonna be overlapping. 
All right, and then the last one, just need a little dimensional. And maybe a little bit of adhesive on the side there with a little overlap. Let's go like that. There we go. So, so pretty. We're gonna finish up with some of those beautiful opal round embellishments. <clears throat> so we'll put one up here maybe and one over here and then maybe a larger one over here I love how that looks like sea glass isn't that pretty so this is our fourth card and I want to show you the two cool version that I made and that is this one now I want to tell you that when you receive your cards, if you get that free five card kit for placing your $35 order with the host code, you're gonna get one or the other of these simply because this paper is the same sheet of paper. Let me show you. Do I have it? So here's that piece. So one of them is made with a strip over here and one's made with a strip over here. Each one of those is gonna have that melon mambo, but it might go more toward the blue or it might go more toward the so, so saffron. So keep that in mind, no big deal. You can change it up <clears throat> with either that seaside spray or the stamped off misty moonlight for that seaside spray look. This one I used the little starfish, he's so cute. And uh, you can figure out which way you want it too, whether you want it horizontal or vertical. So I love how this one turned out. I think that's my favorite of the whole bunch. All right, last but not least, just a really quick card with some stamping this time. We're starting with the Blushing Bride card base. We have another piece of the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. This is a five by three and three quarter inch piece. And you can use either side. Look how pretty both sides are. And they both look lovely with, with the Blushing Bride. We're gonna layer that onto a piece that's just a hair bigger. So it's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then we'll add that to our card front. All right, I'm gonna add a little base here, a little foundation. This is a Sahara sand piece. It's four and a quarter by one and a half. Just a little foundation right in the center. Next up, we're gonna add a piece of that beautiful Blushing Bride metallic ribbon. Just like we did with the seaside spray ribbon, we're just gonna add a little bit of seal right across the middle. And then we'll cut it at an angle right at the edge of the card. And then we're gonna add a focal point. So the focal point is gonna start with a, a Hippo and Friends label, again, I know it goes with a hippo stamp set and you may or may not like hippos, but the die set alone is worth it. I love it. It has so many different label uh, samples there. So let's see. It looks like it did not bring, what did I do with it? Here it is. Okay. We're going to start with... I've lost some of my pieces, so hold on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna start with a Melon Mambo sentiment, wishing you the very best. I'm gonna put that right down here at the bottom. Next up, we need to clean our stamp real quick on this large seashell. We're gonna have Sahara Sand
and I'm just gonna stamp that on a piece of scrap paper. And I'm actually gonna stamp it again over here just to get my positioning because I'm gonna add that piece over here. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And then we'll add a couple more. Let's see, Blushing Bride. Did I bring it? Here we go. I have so many stamps and ink pads everywhere. I'm like, where is everything now? All right, this one is gonna be this seashell. And we're gonna stamp him right here. Next, we're gonna do our sand dollar in Sahara sand. And again, you wanna do this on scrap paper so that it, if you go off the edge, you're not putting that ink onto your piercing mat. And then the final one is the starfish. And again, we're gonna do a stamped off and then just add a couple little points over there at the top. All right, that's looking good. We're gonna pop that up with a couple of dimensionals here over the top. So again, I'm gonna avoid that ribbon in the middle Add that and then let me I didn't get my die cut done for this for some reason but it's so simple to do just a little fussy cutting these shapes are so large and it's just pretty easy to do not really intricate so even if you didn't have the dies you can still cut them out pretty easily All right, and then we're just gonna add this one with some seal over the top. So we already have the positioning for this, so we can just place it right over the top. That helped us know exactly where to stamp those other ones. And we'll finish up again with some pretty opal rounds. I just love to float opal rounds or any embellishment around a sentiment or a focal point. So there is our last card. And let me show you the two cool version of that. If you wanted to use the other side of the paper, then you can have more of a kind of a brighter look. You have the Melon Mambo. And I added a couple of extra seashells down underneath, which I thought gave it some fun dimension. And just, I use a different sentiment in Blushing Bride, Melon Mambo, and So Saffron added in some opal rounds. So very similar, just a little bit brighter look to that one. All right, let's get all the cards out here so you can see what you're gonna get in your kit. So you're gonna have this one, gonna have this one and that first one so these are all of the different cards you'll get all of the different pieces to create all the cards that I sh shared here and the only thing um, you're gonna get you know all of the pre-cut pieces all the pre-embossing for anything that is stamped first and then die cut, I'll just give you a scrap piece of paper and then you'll need to either have the dies or fussy cut those. But everything else, including the embellishments and the ribbon, they're all gonna be provided to you. Remember, all you need to do is go to twocoolstamping.com, click on the Shop Now link, place an order of at least $35 or more, and don't forget to use that host code FJKVCQAC to get your free kit. That's how I know which kit you can get for free. Now, if you are going to place an order for above $150 or above, do not use the host code. 
If you have a $150 order, that's when you can start to earn stamp and rewards dollars that you can spend on additional merchandise. And I want you to be able to use those reward dollars. And if you use a host code, those are taken away. So I want you to use those. Don't use the host code for any order over $150. I will automatically send you a kit. You don't need to worry about that. All right, everybody. I hope that you really enjoy these beautiful cards from the Sand and Sea Suite. And I hope you have fun making them on your own. If you have any questions or you want to know more about me, again, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. You can always go to my website, TooCoolStamping.com, and learn a little bit more about me. And that's where you can place an order as well with the Shop Now link. All right, everybody. Thanks again so much for joining me. Hope you had a lot of fun. And I will see you again next week with our live class. It'll be on Thursday, and it'll be at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.